Hello everybody, what's going on? Drum here, and welcome back to another awesome Crazy Craft episode, where we're gonna go ahead and make another superhero of mine, based off of some TV shows that I've been watching, because we made, and the first one, The Flash, and that is The Green Arrow. That's right, everybody, so he's, like I said, I've been watching him a little bit on TV, getting, kind of, be, getting to be, like, a little bit of a fan of it, so I decided I want to make some Green Arrow gear, and it's actually not too bad to make when you look at it. So the breakdown of the Green Arrow is, once again, let's look real quick, a lot of green cloth, and of course, when you get down to certain pieces, like I'm trying to find the right one. Where's the right green arrow legs? There it is, green arrow's leggings. He uses stained clay as well. So really, for the bulk of the green arrow, we kind of just need stained clay and cloth and some feathers and random stuff. But I mean, for the most part, the hardest part is just green, stained clay, and cloth. Not that bad when you think about it. So that's what we're going to do this episode. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, then please smash that like button. You guys have been loving the superhero episode so far. We're going to go for 2,500 likes on this superhero video. And of course, comment down below with what superhero you want to see me create in the next episode. So starting off, we're obviously going to go ahead and collect ourselves... Well, whatever's left of this cactus over here. We got, we got a couple of cactus that's already fully grown. The rest of it I recently planted down. So let's... Go right here, blah, 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 and we don't even really realistically need that. Yeah, it has an exchange value, so we can kind of just go ahead and exchange that, but of course, we're going to need to cook up at least one. So I'm going to get one cactus green, bring it over to my equivalent exchange machine, and then, uh, well, from there, we're pretty much golden. So let's, let's cook that bad boy up, and in the meantime, we're going to need a lot of cloth. That's really going to be the basis and the hardest part of this episode is collecting all the cloth that we need. Oh, we already got the feathers. There we go. Got the string. And we even actually have a good amount of wool left over. We might be able to make him pretty lickety split if you ask me. So let's take the cactus green over to here. And then boom, shock a lot. Oh, we need our book. And we can just start to replicate it. So this episode, I decided to do a little bit of research beforehand as well, just so I could kind of show you guys, I guess, a little bit more about it than uh, last episode. Because a lot of you guys were saying, when I made Aquaman, you're like, Jerome, you didn't even tell us a little bit about the specifics of him. I'm like, you know what? You're right. I probably realistically should tell you guys a little bit more than uh, than what I had showed you guys. So as you can tell right here, there are a lot of different arrows in this game. And I mean a lot. And that's the cool part about the Green Arrow, is that the Green Arrow's bow, which you can use simply by using his equip weapon key you can get, he can alternate arrows if desired in your inventory and pretty much everything like that just by pressing number three in the suit ability. Basically meaning, whoa, okay, apparently we just timed out. That was a little random. But basically meaning that if you had multiple types of arrows in your inventory, you could just switch between them at a moment's notice and kind of just start to use them. Uh, let's see, are we not able to join back in? Oh, okay, we can. That was a little weird. Weird. Not sure why I kind of glitched us. Whoa. Whoa, okay, calm down there, buddy. But, yeah, as I was saying, though, you can alternate between them. And then, of course, the different types of arrows there are is the green arrow, which has increased accuracy and does a lot more damage. Then, of course, we have the web arrow, the boxing arrow, and the explosive arrow, the Greek fire arrow, and the sleeping gas arrow. So, while we're creating some of these, I'm going to go into it in detail a little bit. We're going to make... I don't even know how many of these we need. Let's just make, like, 20. Doesn't matter. We have so many garbage cans that we have there for equivalent exchange. We could literally just... Spam our whole inventory full of these and it wouldn't even matter. But the way it works, the green arrow looks at increased accuracy. Web arrow spawns webs on them on impact. Then the boxing arrow does knockback. Explosive arrows do explosive damage. The Greek fire arrow sets the target on fire for 10 seconds. And the sleeping gas arrow gives blindness, slowness, and it also does a little bit of damage as well. So there's lots of cool arrows we can make. And we're going to make a few of them. Uh, I don't know how many we'll make this episode. I mean, they're not that difficult to make. That fire charge, that one's kind of annoying for the sleeping gas. But let's, let's see what else we have here. You ready? Explosive arrow. TNT. We, we can make a few of these. So we're going to make some cool armor and some cool weapons in this mod as well. Once again, smash that like button because it's not going to be easy when we're building all these different things. All right. So first things first, we're going to need to make ourselves... Well, first, we're going to actually need to get ourselves some cloth, some green cloth. So let's go ahead and just... Boom, boom. Oh, I keep forgetting. No, nope, other way around. Okay, it's not apparently... Oh, because we're in the hero maker. I was like, well, that should be the exact way that you're supposed to make green wool. I was like, I literally, I'm kind of speechless here. I don't know how else you make green wool, but that, that is kind of usually the typical way. So there we go. We got the green there. Now green, Where where's our, where's cloth? Cloth. 
Uh, brown cloth. Green cloth. There we go. Okay, it's five string. That's what I thought it was. So you just go like that. Break them all up. And then you put the string in it like that. And it's supposed to make green cloth. Unless I was wrong there. How to Green cloth. Green wool, green wool, green wool. And string. Yes, that is exactly precisely how you make... Maybe you don't make it a superhero. Maybe I was just making it wrong. All right, let's go over this machine then. Let's see if this one. Maybe you don't make it the hero maker. You might just have to make it a normal crafting. I don't really know for sure. Oh yeah, you do just need to make it a normal crafting. Okay, well that works. Uh, sorry about that. Kind of messed up a little bit. There we go. And now we have all of those cloths to work with. So we got the cloths there, and uh, I think if I'm correct, do you just do that for his boots? Is that it? Is that... No, that's Robin. Uh-oh. We don't want Robin just yet. We're not, we haven't even built Batman yet. We don't... Why would we want Robin before we built Batman? No one ever... I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Ooh, we need emeralds. All right, cool, cool. So there's lots of basic items that are needed as well for this. Uh, mostly just like ingots and, and things like that. So nothing that crazy that's really going to throw us off. And uh-oh, we're experiencing a little bit of crazy craft lagaroony. There we go, so we got all these. Grab the emeralds, bring these on back over to our little hero maker over here. And then we can just go boom, boom, green cloth. And that right there, we got the green arrows boots. Now we can go ahead and make ourselves, let's see, green arrow leggings. We need the, oh, we need the hardened clay now. This is the part that's going to get annoying. And then we need leather as well. So we need to get the hardened clay. The way you get hardened clay is simple. You just collect enough for clay and you cook it up. It's literally that easy. So we're going to need to go ahead and get, some, get ourselves some clay. Do we have any to use at the moment? It would appear like we, do, oh, we do have clay. Perfect. So now we can just go ahead and cook up the clay and... I believe that's really all you have to do. Let me just make sure, though. Green green stained clay is hard and clay. Was, yeah, that's literally it. So we can kind of just cook these guys away. There we go. Put 12 in there and 12 in there. We can just start cooking away. And uh, and we can go from there. All right, what else do we need now? We have the green arrow. We have, we have his feet. Uh, how do we make his mask? Let's make his mask. That's easy enough. Cloth and a feather. Okay. I'm pretty certain that we can do that. That doesn't, at the end of the day, that doesn't sound too, too bad. So we just go here. And then once again, it's just boom, boom. Put the feather right up there. Take the green cloth. Bring it on around. And there we go. Now we have the green arrow's face as well as his feet. Now for the chest plate, we need to get ourselves that leather we were just talking about. So we might need to go out and hunt down a few cows. But it shouldn't be a problem for someone as crazy as the Bach. Unless we have leather lying around. We might. I mean, I'm pretty... I'd be surprised. I'll leave it at that. I'd be very surprised if we didn't have any leather left at all. Let's see. Leather. No leather there. Leather. Ah, there's some leather. There we go. I was going to say, I'm like, I'd be pretty shocked right now if we had no leather at all to work with. All right, so we got that. Now to make the green arrows chest plate, we just need to go across diagonally. I believe we just go like that, right? Yeah, there we go. Green arrow. So we've got, we're coming for you, green arrow. We're coming for you, Mr. Arrow, real quick. Uh, Oh, we can get rid of that. And all we need is the hardened clay that we've been cooking up. So we can go back this way. Oh, that's a lot of hardened clay, actually. There we go. Some of that. 18 of it. Then we can go over here, and then we can just go round and about. Put a little cactus green in there. Now we have the green hardened clay. We're going to bring that back. And I believe we should be good enough to get ourselves the, the armor that we're looking for. Anyway, there we go. So we'll just get that there. Uh, and oh, we need to... Apparently, we need to make a little bit more of the cloth. So let's go ahead and make a couple more. We don't... Do we need... Yeah, well, actually, I think we only need... Yeah, realistically, we only do need one more piece. We might as well just save the rest of that wool for future future superheroes that we're planning on making. There we go. And then we can just go one, two, one, two. Bring that on back. And across the top, the green stained clay. And boom, shagalaka. We have ourselves the green arrow everybody that's right so we got ourselves a finished green arrow Ooh, let's let's put the aquaman let's put aquaman down let's put him right here and oh apparently i'm sorry mr batman i didn't realize you were 
didn't realize you were on there. There we go. So we got Aquaman. And now we have the green arrow we can put on. And boom, shakalaka. So the green arrow, if you didn't know, I was talking about his bow so much, I didn't talk about his stats. He basically gets speed 2, strength 2, acrobatics 2, archery, spawn, and he can spawn his own bow. He can double jump as well, but, I mean, I can't really show you that because he's got the cloud pet on. And that's pretty much his biggest attributes. He takes no fall damage as well, but, I mean, most of our classes don't because we have queen scale boots in general. However, though, the green arrow, like I said before, if you use his weapon equips key, can get himself Green Arrow's bow. So let's go here and see where exactly that is. Weapons equipped, let's go. Well, now button's taken, right bracket taken. Are you take backslash taken? Number pad eight, okay. It's kind of very random, but it works. All right, here we go. So number pad eight, and there's the Green Arrow bow. And look at that. I don't even have, I don't, do I have any arrows? Yeah, I don't even have any arrows. Oh, I, apparently I did, and that's how I was able to shoot him. So we got the green arrow's bow, which is really powerful. Like I said, it has the ability to fire a bunch of other trick arrows. So, of course, along with the green arrow's bow here, we're going to make ourselves, at least some of them, we'll make ourselves, we'll make ourselves the explosive arrows. That could be cool. So we need gunpowder if we have any. Do we have any gunpowder? Do I have to go out there and kick some evil creeper's butt? I think I'm going to have to kick some creeper butt. I think... Are we... Yeah, I think we gotta kill some creepers. Okay. Alright, I'm down with that. I am down with that to make explosive arrows. Just to try them out. I I just wanna at least try them. So, alright. Let's go kick some creeper butt. And we can go ahead and put that in our inventory. And collect some awesome sand that we can use to make the TNT with. And then once we get enough of that, we don't even need that many. We just need to get enough that we can... Oh, what's... The... Okay, there we go. We got it. All right, we just need to make enough so we can get one TNT piece. Uh, the reason we need exactly one TNT is so that we can use our equivalent exchange machine on it and uh, and go from there. So there we go. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Three. And now we'll just go ahead and tear up some sand real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. No, yeah, we can get rid of that. All right, nine sand. All right, we need more creepers. Creepers anywhere? Oh, I know whose secret underground superhero lair that's supposed to be. I'm not going to tell anybody. I don't want to rat the, the Superbok out. You know, he might get a little upset about that. Oh, there we go. There's four. And I believe... I could be wrong. I, I literally... This is the simplest thing I always get wrong in Minecraft. Yeah, it's it's five. I always get it wrong. I don't know if it's five sand and four TNT or four gunpowder or five gunpowder and four sand. I know it sounds dumb and simple, and it is, but... I always get it wrong anyway. <laughs> That's part of what makes the box so lovable. Is he's so forgetful and cuddly and forgetful and cuddly and, and forgetful. <laughs> Alright, so we need to find one more. There we go, there's a crepper. This is hopefully the last crepper. Yep, he gave us the last piece we need. And now we can make a TNT, put in the equivalent exchange machine, and then we can have infinite TNT whenever we so choose. So there we go, we'll bring this down here. That equivalent exchange machine is pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I know we made it a few episodes ago, but it honestly is so game-changing when it comes to things like this, because now we don't have to make TNT ever again. We can literally just go over here to our magical book and just use this to replicate TNT. There we go. And code the TNT into the book. And it's froze. It's frozen. Why are you frozen? What the heck's going on here? Does TNT just take a while? I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect just because I don't know if the game froze or what the case is there, but it's not really. Maybe does TNT? I don't know, TNT definitely has an exchange value. Maybe it just takes longer because of how high the exchange value is? Is that a thing? It could be. It might be that because the exchange value is so high, it kind of just takes. A while. I'm not sure though. We're gonna leave that be for now then uh, until we figure that out. I can make a TNT off camera just to put into the exchange machine. Um, in the meantime though, I kind of just want to build the explosive arrow and then call this episode quits. So let's see what we got here. Uh, green er, arrow. And then we can go to explosive arrow. It's TNT, arrow, and green. Okay. So we need to get one regular arrow, which I'm sure we've got plenty of stocked away in one of these chests here. Let's see arrows. 
I definitely have an arrow. Like, it's not like I've never killed a skeleton. Although, whether or not I've killed a skeleton and stored their arrows is another story. Let's see, let's see. Where are you? Where are you, friendo? There we go. We got one of those. We can go ahead over here. And we can make ourselves... Do, 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 do. TNT. And... Oh, we've got to go to the superhero maker. No, duh. It's not like you can make explosive arrows out of the superhero maker. Obviously, it's a huge part of it that it is from a superhero. There we go. And we have the extra arrow as well we can work with. Um, so let's go ahead and bring that over here. Not really sure. Can we... Ah, we can put the arrow in the book. The arrow! See, the arrow's working quick. We can put the arrow on there. And perfect. Now we should have an explosive arrow that the green arrow can use. So let's put this one to the test. And then we'll be able to wrap this episode up. Ooh, we'll put it on a girlfriend. Here we go. Um, so how do we use this? Uh, if suit ability 3 is pressed. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta program a suit ability 3. Um, suit ability 3. Three, we'll make it nine. Number pad, nine. There we go. Oh, no, that's the wrong nine, so we need to make it nine. Uh-oh, he just loaded something. Is this it? That's the one. Here we go. Oh, my God. That's so cool. So you can literally just, by pressing nine, switch between the different arrows that you want. Oh, this is cool. I think one day we should revisit the green arrow and make some awesome bows. Or some awesome arrows, I should say, that we can use with him. But that right there, everybody, is the green arrow in Crazy Craft. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button and stay tuned for more superhero episodes in the near future. As well as some awesome Crazy Craft episodes in the meantime. So thank you guys once again. Hope you all enjoyed. Peace out and have an awesome day.